continuing the quest free update series that is always a big convenience for me to play games <laughs> we're now in ancient dungeon and what was added is mostly the stuff that's happening on the pcvr version of the game that would be some present shadows that i think i already see more environmental details rendering and resolution this might be the first game that i'm actually gonna play the game normally because every single time there was a special occasion or something to look forward to but this is gonna be more just a gameplay and actually seeing what's happening <laughs> I will say I don't have a huge experience. So I don't know how long I will last. Do I remember certain mechanics and how it worked? Some stuff will definitely be new. <laughs> like this dude. But we have time. I remember I wanted to do like a full-on playthrough of it, which is a common occurrence that I say this. But there's always time and place. For me and games to reunite. Jesus, I hit my cable system. A pinata. Okay, I need to stop. <laughs> Who needs Minecraft when you have this? They still rush at you. Assholes. Wait, what? You're close here with me, not the other way around. Interesting. There will be for sure a lot of new features that I didn't see before. Problem is with nature of roguelikes, I need to first play the whole run to actually record it. So that's why not every single game comes around on the channel like that. What the? So three attacks. Okay, four. 
Jesus, calm down, man. Wow. I did not expect that. I fully thought it's gonna be a slime. This fire mod really saved my ass. <laughs> the story. Ah yeah, because now we have seamless dungeons. There's no transition whatsoever. I have one HP, mate. Where are my apples? What is this? Flying axe. This carry. Come on! <laughs> what killed me? Those wisps that I spawn? Though I don't know what they do. <laughs> I think I'll play again. <laughs> I don't know it's that fast paced though. Like the runs aren't... long at all unless you discover every single corner And on that note, I'm not going there. <laughs> the hell, it follows you. That's what I get for not knowing the game. Completing an area would mean after defeating the boss, right? Not like this small square. Ah, a shopkeeper. Tangled for one key. I'm sure you don't mind. But I'm not gonna take my chances. So to keep in mind, he's there.
And that's a boss fight. Ah. It's fine. I know you. That's what I expected. No. <laughs> I like that you just go down. To new areas like that. Ah, it's those spores. Come on. It's so easy to lose health in this game. I heard you. This is just not fair. I don't know what to do here. <laughs> they leave a trail even though they don't die. <laughs> this is the essence of this game. <laughs> and on that note, we'll finish here. I didn't know the game's that hard. I mean, maybe I'm just playing around too much. And also it's due to my lack of knowledge about the mechanics. I feel like the whole update gives the game more ambience and immersion because that's what Shadow's purpose is. And the more detail in the environment I didn't necessarily notice, maybe there was like more grass than normal, though you're just focusing on the gameplay since it's that intense <laughs> and you're kind of busy with other things going on, although the rendering distance is nice because then you can kind of anticipate what will happen to you in the next couple seconds. Overall solid, it's not like the game was bad before, cause it's one of the most star games out there and it's nice to see its development coming all the way from side quest. I think next is the multiplayer thing, or is already, who knows. But always good to be back and maybe in the future there's gonna be more, but seeing this gameplay now that's gonna be rough to accomplish. <laughs>